Charles McKenzie, United States Army Corps of Engineers Research and Development Center. I am a research civil engineer. So we are a part of the USACE Aviation and Remote Systems cadre. We are down here flying UAS or drones to do damage assessment. Engineers and scientists within USACE are well versed in the structural health monitoring. Normally our engineers and scientists, people who come down to help, they'll have to get out, break out the equipment, get on the roof to do the assessment, do walk arounds and whatnot. Well, with the use of the UAVs, we're able to actually get an eye on all of this damage without physically having to put a person in harm's way. Uh, I'm Molly Holt. I'm the mission manager and training officer for the infrastructure assessment team. Our mission is to structurally assess uh, buildings um, for safety and then also factoring in life safety risks like electrical hazards and uh, access issues. Uh, having the UAS mission uh, support our infrastructure assessments means that our inspectors could be more safe uh, in case there was a lot of debris in front of a household and an inspector didn't have access to that building or if there is a potential risk for falling hazards the drone could get into that area and get some footage or the the drone could also inspect the outside of a high-rise building uh, checking for any kind of cracks or looking for roof damage um, to let our inspector know if that building is safe or not and if uh, anyone should occupy it. My name is Rebecca Booten. I am with the Huntington District Corps of Engineers, I'm the geospatial coordinator for Huntington. I'm here as a remote pilot for the aviation cadre. Um, we've supported Blue Roof and today we are supporting the infrastructure assessment team. It's a safer alternative than getting someone on a ladder on top of a roof. So uh, that's what we're here to assist them with areas that they can't get to. Um, there's some areas that have a lot of debris around uh, the structure and it would be a lot easier to just fly a drone around it and get the images that they may need.